And now it's time to check in with the man who has the real opinion, Mr. Gino Reynolds, who's here, and you saw Cloud Atlas this weekend. What What did you think? You know, I'm, I'm not going to sing its praises. I, I will say it was an ambitious film. Mm -hmm. It was a decent film, but uh, it borderlines, I would say, above average to good. Okay. Um, there was a lot going on in this movie. Uh, you had, okay, I saw lots of people get up during the movie to go get popcorn, mm -hmm. go to the bathroom, stuff like that. It's not one of those movies that you can leave and come back and say, Hey, what happened? It, <laughs> it jumps around too much uh, for that. If you stay and pay attention, everything does connect. I don't know if it was really reincarnation or whatever, but the characters do say, uh, you know, we connect lives and stuff like that. Not a bad movie. There were some parts that weren't so good and some parts that were really good. There were some parts that were stolen from other movies. Uh, some of the big reveals, at least one of the big reveals, was outright taken from another movie, and I didn't think they were going to go there, and they okay. did, and I was kind of disappointed. Okay, gotcha. Well, um, that's interesting that you say it, because it did seem like, a, um, not necessarily a jumble, but it seemed like it was all over the place, so it's not really very, it's not linear. No, no, it, it, at the very first it is. It goes from time period forward to all the, you know, through all the time periods, but mm -hmm. then after that, it's all over the place. They do they they do connect it pretty well. I, I will give them credit for that. There was a lot going on. They do connect it. But some of the things that really bother this movie, some of the actors were supposed to be goofy and funny, and they were at the times they were supposed to be, mm -hmm. but sometimes when they weren't supposed to be, I'm sorry, Halle Berry playing a German woman didn't work very well. Uh -huh. And neither, I don't know the actress's name, but uh, it was an Oriental lady trying to play a red-headed, freckled Southern Belle, and it mm -hmm. just did not work very well. I know they were trying to use the same actors mm -hmm. and try to connect two cer you know, certain actors together in kind of an overtime love story. It just didn't work too well. All in all, not a bad film. You don't need to rush to the theater to see it. Seeing the future stuff in the theater was kind of cool. I'm sure, yeah. The, the, you, the, you the scale of it. Right, and the sounds and the, the but look. The, yeah, the sounds and the look, but really you don't have to go. But if you check it out, it's not a bad movie to check out. Okay, definitely. Well, you also are giving away something today, so let's, let's hear what it is. I've been waiting for a week and a half to say this. I have Skyfall tickets. Excellent. I have advanced screening Skyfall tickets. Nice. And if okay. you email me at therealopinion at yahoo.com, don't forget the underscores and the email address, I'm going to give them away till they're gone. Okay. So, and I won't say how many I got, but I got a few. So uh, the screening is November 7th at 7 p.m. at the Beverly Theater in Champaign. Mm -hmm. uh, we did this for Looper. It went pretty well. I think these tickets are going to go even better. Great. So. You know, contact okay. me and I'll contact you back and you'll get a couple tickets. All right, looking forward to it. Thanks for being here, Gina. Thank you. We appreciate it and we'll be right back.